Hey, look. That's lemonade. What's up, dude? Perfect timing. So I'm, uh, sorry, probably going your eardrums there. I just haven't got some lemonade. I was expecting for Vermont that it was, oh, it's baby calf. I was expecting for Vermont that that would be uh, homemade lemonade. Nope, it was crystal light. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> um, I'm heading north to Bryden State Park, State Park in uh, Island Pond, Vermont. It's, uh, oh, it's 85 miles north. And uh, just, a, just, a, just a normal like weekend. Um, the BMW MOV, this is their neck camp and ride, neck aka uh, Northeast Kingdom. Looking forward to going up there, just, uh, you know, two nights of camping. There's a, a couple of taverns up there that have Wi-Fi, so I've actually brought my uh, laptop, get a little riding done. Tomorrow, people are going to be doing a 100 mile loop. I don't know if I actually feel like doing that tomorrow, so I may end up just doing some uh, some internet cafe stuff. I, you know, I've got a lot, I'm just really backlogged right now on a ton of work, and while I want to go be doing things, um, I got to treat this weekend kind of like a working weekend. That's okay, but just get a little bit of work done while other people go out and ride. But it's just, guys, I'm just very, very busy these days. So um, I'll stop rambling for now. Um, one thing I will leave you with from the Farkle department is I have the OEM steering damper on this GSA uh, because, as you guys remember, I destroyed the HyperPro slash Touratech damper when I was sand riding in uh, uh, Ontario. So uh, that's going to be shipped back to me next week. So it's almost done. It was a warranty repair, luckily, which is mind blowing because it was my fault that it got full of sand. Um, but I guess they, they referenced it as being a, a dust seal failure. Uh, but, but I haven't ridden with a fully loaded up uh, pannier setup since I sent that damper off. And wow, what a huge difference it makes to, uh, to be on the OEM damper. I mean, it's, 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 it's shaky. It's constantly shaking. It's every bump that's like a, an off-camber bump, it shakes it to the right or the left. So it's kind of interesting. Um, so I do miss my HyperPro damper. It wasn't a waste of money. It's something that uh, definitely improves increases the, the, the control of the steering uh, with the whole load of shit behind you. But this is all kind of boring Vermont scenery, so uh, let's get north and then I'll pick back up with you guys. I'm going to listen to some podcasts and just... Uh... <sighs> Vermont is so beautiful. I mean, New Hampshire is too. When you get when you get to this part of the, the, uh, the states, New Hampshire and Vermont look the same, so I should take that back. Northern New England is so amazing. I'm so lucky that I live, I don't know, 30 miles from this. <laughs> uh, people will drive eight hours to see this. And it's like, I'm so lucky. My coworkers earlier didn't believe that uh, it was gonna rain all, basically from now till Saturday night. They're like, no, it's not gonna rain. It's gonna rain all weekend. I'm like, yeah, well, where I'm going, it's gonna rain. It's 0.2 inches today and 0.2 inches tomorrow, which the biggest problem is thunderstorms. Um, you know, it's dangerous. But um, but yeah, then you see right over there. It's it's definitely gonna. This is this is the slowest damn route ever. I mean, all of these people are just going way too fucking slow. Lots of snowmobile trails up here. I did get my OHRV sticker for the Beta. There's no point in putting one on the GS. I mean, I, I've, I've done ATV trails on the GS before. Um, but you gotta have knobbies. And it's just, you're struggling. Just, you know, ride the Beta up to the ATV trails and do it that way. I smell some campfires. This is exciting though. I haven't seen everyone in a week. <laughs> but I haven't camped with everyone since the puppy dog ride, ride in, uh, that was June. I'm 
Good morning, everyone. As you can tell, it rained last night, as expected. Uh, it actually just stopped raining, like, a few minutes ago. This is not supposed to be the end of it. It's supposed to continue raining a little bit throughout the day, but, hell, man, the sun is out. We are doing the uh, this route here, the neck ride, 130 miles. Got a whole group behind us here. You can see them or not, but they're all behind us. Well, there's like seven of us. Not a huge group, but we're down three because of uh, some tire issues last night. They're all kind of still staying behind, and we just left them. We'll have the same spot later, though. So there is uh, Lake Willoughby. If anyone's curious, someone's getting married today. Good for them. Enjoy your hopeful lifetime together. Statistically, though, not so sure. Anyway, Lake Willoughby. It's a beautiful, beautiful lake in the Northeast Kingdom. Probably the most famous lake that we have up here. We got marijuana. Look at that. A lot of it. <laughs> What a great day this is, guys. Good pace, no heroes, just some solid riding. I've inherited the sweeper role, which is okay. I actually like being in the back, because it means that no one's waiting for me. As long as this guy's looking back sometimes, make sure I'm still there. <laughs> Man, isn't this nice? I love it. So we got a Tiger, we got I think four GSs, a Tiger, well it's an F700 and three R1200s. There is a couple of Tigers, I don't know actually. But, yeah this is a nice riding man. Okay, he's watching for me. I've been in the rain all day long, but this road connects back to the main road, so I'm gonna go back here and look for a moose real quick. Huh. Oh, a beautiful bike. Yeah, it's real. It's really raining right now. Ah. Yeah. Oh, Anarchy Wilds. No, Adventures. And these things are not uh, not great in the mud. That's for sure. But if we see a moose, look at that, isn't that cool? At least I'm rolling. That looks fun for a beta right up there. Little trail in the middle of nowhere, but now on this thing without Navi's, this is a beautiful canopy we have, and it's all made possible because there's no power lines back here. You know, power lines, aside being just visual pollution, you know, kind of take away this ability to have a canopy like this. I thought I saw this connected back out. Yeah, connects back out. Well, it's spoke. It's pretty back here. Well, let's see if Garmin has led me astray. Supposedly it's this. We go around this loop here. And then hang a right. I mean, <laughs> we're not on Navi's, so this could get pretty foul pretty fast.
I may have fucked up. It's getting progressively worse. Make a U turn in 2.1 miles. Does it not connect there? It's right there. All right, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to turn around. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back down that road down there is the right way to go. I'm definitely going to stop and see if this connects. If it does, I'll be kind of pissed that it didn't. I have a picture though before we continue on. Let's think about GSs, man. If you're on a bad road, you get some pictures. Terrible timing, huh? Yeah, it's just sandy. I'm going to go back. 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 I'm going